everyone, my name is Kim Zemmel and I'm currently the Outdoor Education Manager at Glacier Peak Institute. Over the last two summers, I was lucky enough to be the camp director for the Military Teen Adventure Camp, which was hosted by GPI and Washington State University Extension 4-H. So a little bit about the camp. This camp was open to teens ages 14 to 18 who are dependents of military personnel. This includes veteran, active, guard, retired, disabled, and Gold Star families. This camp's mission was to connect military youth to the outdoors, to foster the growth mindset, and build connections among other youth that have similar experiences. GPI and WSU hosted this camp knowing that these military youth had similar experiences to our local youth that we serve here in Darrington and the surrounding communities. Some youth had lost a parent, many of them experienced the inst instability of home life, moving around a lot, and so on. So throughout the past two summers, we've served over 200 military youth. Um, each camp was a four day, three night camp, and we've hosted five different sessions. The youth ex experienced different things such as kayaking, river rafting, hiking, mountain biking, and archery. And through this, we develop these different goals and whatnot through team building activities and again through that recreation. With Glacier Peak Institute and WSU hosting the Military Teen Adventure Camp over the last two summers, we've been given the opportunity to have the largest summer staff that we've had in previous years over the last two summers. I personally recognize some pretty significant learning experiences within the interns over the last two years. I remember two summers ago, we had an intern who was an environmental studies major who joined us here in Darrington. And they did not fully understand the benefits of logging and how that can really provide beautiful things for our community. Um, and through some you know, tough, challenging conversations, um, they really came to learn about the beauty and benefits of humans and nature living within this uh, reciprocal relationship. And by the end of the summer, this intern said that they were extremely grateful to have had these conversations with both myself and other Darrington community members. It was evident to me that throughout that experience with that, with that intern and through other experiences, that this internship here with GPI and WSU gave the interns an opportunity to expand their worldview and also aligned with one of GPI's missions, which is to build that bridge between urban and rural communities. The summer staff were also positively impacted in other ways throughout their experience with GPI and WSU. I distinctly remember one intern who completed some of our mental health trainings who at the camp noticed a youth experienced some serious mental health challenges. After approaching myself and the other camp director, he actually took it upon himself to navigate that situation in a compassionate and understanding way to ensure that that youth was supported. He told me that prior to his experience at GPI, he didn't know if he would have actually approached that situation himself. At the end of one intern's experience, they reflected by saying, this incredible role gave me the opportunity to watch young people experience the power that outdoor education has for building resiliency and perseverance, for fostering curiosity and creativity, all while simultaneously anchoring them to the present moment. Each week, the youths arrived somewhat shy, but became totally engrossed in their camp experiences. And by the final night, they expect, expressed grief and reluctance to leave. Gratitude can't touch the depth of appreciation I feel for having the chance to interact and inspire a connection to nature for these youth and to be a part of this experience. One volunteer who has had 10 plus years of camp leadership experience expressed that it was one of his favorite camps he'd ever attended. And when he found out throughout the camp that two years ago was the first year that we had ever held the camp, he was shocked. He thought that we were seasoned camp hosts. Not only did GPI staff and volunteers feel the profound impact that this camp made, but so did the campers. The first year that we held the camp, we had three sessions and each session was allowed to pick their last night activity. One session picked a dance, one picked a talent show, and one session picked actually looking at the stars. 
Now, as the camp director and being responsible for teens, I was a little hesitant to allow the teens to stay up late to watch the stars because it's summer and the sun doesn't set till around 10 p.m. But who was I to keep this incredible experience from these campers? So I gave them my permission. And I remember walking around at about 11.30 at night, just observing and watching the campers, you know, laying back, looking at the stars and hearing them exclaim in excitement about the stars and giggling with their friends and sharing, you know, beautifully deep stories. And as I told the kids, you know, about 15 minutes later, it was about time to head to bed. Um, some youth had told me that they, this was actually their first time laying out and looking at the stars. And that's when it hit me that we gave them this incredible opportunity to experience the humbleness that comes with looking at the nighttime sky. And hopefully we fostered that curiosity and that inspiration for these youth to hopefully look at the stars again. The campers took a pre and post survey both years of the camp. And unfortunately we don't have the survey results from the 2022 camp yet, but we have evaluated our survey from our first year that we led the camp. And these were some pretty profound data survey results. We saw a 46% positive change in the statement, I overcome challenges in positive ways. A 44% positive change in the statement, I feel valued and appreciated by others. And a 38% positive change in the statement, I express my feelings in proper ways. What is truly incredible about these results is that it greatly aligns with GPI's goals and mission. Of the military camps offered in the summer of 2021, we were among the highest ranking for overall improvements on our pre and post surveys. After the camp, parents reach out to let us know how their campers experience was. After the first summer we hosted the camp, one parent stated, quote, I wanted to let you know that my daughter loved the camp. When she came home, she said, have you ever met a group of people and felt like you've known them for your entire life, even though you just met two minutes ago? That's how it was, mom. To me, that was the ultimate response as a mom. She has been to camps before and had fun, but never really made friends or connected with anyone. She never came home with phone numbers or addresses of kids she met. This camp, not only did she come home with addresses and phone numbers, she also started a group text with her cohort and they talk every day. This makes my heart so happy. Personally, one of the most profound experiences at camp for me was after we completed an activity that we do at the end of each session. This activity, campers identify which other campers align with various different statements. This includes things such as, this person showed kindness, this person is compassionate, I'm grateful to have met this person. After one session in particular, we sat down as a group after completing this activity and we asked campers what they thought about this experience. And as I looked around, I saw many happy, comforting tears. And one youth in particular raised his hand and stated that he was shocked after this activity because he didn't think that anyone else liked him or cared for him. And he learned after we did this activity that he is indeed cared for and he is appreciated and he is loved. Reflecting on the campers and staff and volunteers experience fills me with so much joy, hope, and inspiration. Many youth face their fears, whether it was meeting new people, sleeping away from parents for the first time, or missing parents just because they had to miss them before because of deployment, stepping out of their comfort zone, opening up to other campers and staff, and so much more. Supporting these youth was difficult. Working with youth can be very emotionally driven. I always joke <laughs> that I want to put kids that we serve in a bubble to protect them from all of life's challenges. And I know that's hopeful thinking. So we as a staff inspired them, listened them, and affirmed their emotions, and encouraged them that with the support of others, that they can make it through whatever it was that they were facing. Through various trainings about adverse childhood experiences, we are consistently told that one of the biggest buffers to symptoms of trauma is having supportive adults in a child's life. This experience truly showed me firsthand the power of having caring, supportive adults and peers in one's life. I learned that vulnerability can be hard, but that it is admirable and it is healing. 
I was reminded of the beautiful uniqueness and quirks of people and that it is something to celebrate. I was reminded of the importance of connecting with nature and how grounding it can be for anyone and everyone if they are given the chance to do so safely and comfortably. I was reminded that we are communal creatures and without community and love, we will not thrive. Throughout the camp, I witnessed a beautiful exchange of human connection in a profound way, and I will cherish it for years. I was shown how strong and resilient youth can be, especially when they are provided with love, support, encouragement to try new things, and a space to be authentically themselves. Finally, I was shown how strong the military community is, how it was filled with love, acceptance, and encouragement. Many of these lessons I learned, I'm consistently reminded of in my current position with GPI. I often say that I learn more from the youth than they learn from us. What a gift. I feel truly grateful for the opportunity to, to work with at-risk youth, GPI staff, and dedicated community volunteers. I look forward to continuing my learning of these lessons with the current youth that we work with and serve, and the military youth again, as we are so excited to host the camp again for a third time this summer. <laughs>